All right, welcome back. We're still working on shooting. Uh, so let's go back to our, let's go look at our shooting handler again. So game possession, player, ball. And then now we can say player dot leader stats dot conditionals dot has possession dot value equals true. So I think we should be able to not like not shoot the ball, but like it shouldn't go anywhere, but we should be able to lose possession. Our player freezes up. We got game possession. Then we got start shot. We need to, well, we need to go look at our shooting handler. So start shot is firing. Start shot, fire server. And that is freezing the player. Oh, well, we didn't do any of this. So shoot ball. Um, we need to say ball. Let's actually put this back up here. Get rid of the value. And then we'll say ball value ball dot value dot motor 60 dot part one equals nil oh wait no, no 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 we gotta say lose possession so lose possession fire player and then now we need to unfreeze the player i think we already wrote that didn't we yeah so we want to lose player i mean lose possession and we want to unfreeze player oops fire that's through the player Let's see what this looks like. We can gain possession, then we can lose possession. Uh, so now let's let's go back to our shooting handler. And so we've got shoot ball fours. Uh, hang on, let's go back to our shoot ball actually. So we are losing possession and we'll say ball assembly linear velocity equals force see what this looks like I got to do ball value see how it just went straight up because it's launching it from the ball position to the shot aim the shot aim's not going anywhere right now that's what we're about to do so you just go straight up straight down We've lost possession of it it's good it's working exactly how it should be working right now so what we are gonna need next is we're gonna need to use the run service so go back to our shooting handler. We've got our input service right here. Underneath it, let's put our run service. This game uh, run service. And then down here, we will say run service dot heartbeat colon connect function. And then DT, which stands for delta time. And we will say if player wait for child. Here, let's actually do this. We'll say up here. We'll say repeat, wait until leader stats, wait for child, conditionals, wait for child, shooting. Actually, we'll say shooting equals that. If shooting value equals true, then uh, one thing we'll, we'll have to do in the future, we don't have to, but I like to do is to give us a shot bar uh, so we can see the shot bar is power filling up. Uh, we're not going to do that right now, but we're just going to make a comment to remind us to do it. So we'll just say shot bar fill dot, I don't know, enabled equals true. Um, but yeah, so now we're going to say, now we're going to say shot aim dot position plus equals player character humanoid root part dot C frame dot look vector look at me vector times time shot power right so let's get our shot power up here and that equals oh we can't see it uh so we'll just say i don't know um three i i really i can't remember what it was or what a good value is but time shot power plus player character humanoid root Art dot C frame dot right vector times math random. We need one for shot accuracy. We'll just set it to one for right now. Plus math random. And we'll say negative shot accuracy, shot accuracy. And then we need to get a shot timer. Just set it equal to zero. Then we'll say shot timer plus equals delta time and we'll say if 
shot timer is greater than one and no no and just if shot timer is greater than one then we want to shoot the ball else we want to say oh yeah we need to set the shot bar fill fuzz equals we haven't done this yet but i'm just going to go ahead and type it out shot timer zero one zero let's see what happens whoa <laughs> so i mean i think it works i can tell you what we need i can tell you what we need right now is we need some deep bounces local start shot bb is false and we'll say if start dot db equals false start shot weight 0 0.5 start shot db equals false true and now we need to do the same thing for up here for shoot ball and we'll say if shoot ball db equals false and shoot ball db equals true weight 0 0.5 Shoot ball db equals false. And then right here is where we will put this stuff. All right, let's try this now. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, I do know. Well, I don't know. It's it's obviously not there yet, uh, but it's got to be something really minor. Uh, we'll keep looking at it in the next video. This one's gone on long enough, so I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, welcome back to another video about uh programming the shooting for our game so there's one thing i want to try uh, one thing that we forgot to do is whenever we gain possession of the ball uh, we want to set the ball uh, the network owner of the ball to be the player so say ball uh, what's it called i think it's set network owner let's see yeah ball yeah it's a ball set network owner to be the player i just want to see i don't know why when we shoot the ball like just watch okay that actually worked that may have been an issue there was no network owner uh, i know why i know why it didn't work there we ha we just haven't gotten there yet we're not resetting the the shot aim after we shoot it that looked pretty good okay so now we have our remote event correct about shoot the ball this remote event is being fired on the server side. Now we want to fire it on the client side. So we'll say shoot ball, fire client, player. And we will go back to our shooting handler and we will say shoot ball on client event, connect function. And here we want to say uh, timer equals zero. We also want to add a debounce. So we'll say local okay i forgot so we got to set the shot timer um we will say we will say dot aim dot position equals ball position dot position oh and i think when i shoot the ball yeah yeah we need to say player dot leader stats dot conditionals shooting dot value equals false and then in the shooting handler wait a minute okay so we want to say shot aim dot position equals shot start this is actually where we wanted to start all right so shooting seems to be working i'm sure there's a few things we'll have to tweak along the way but this is a great place to stop uh and we are done with shooting for right now i'm sure we'll like i said we'll come back to it but uh yeah, so thanks for hanging in there and I will see you guys in the next video.